welcome to the Bay Focus Christmas program. Every year we come to you and we try to bring you some quality Christmas music and share with you on what's going on here in the Tampa Bay area at the holidays as well. And I have Brooke Larson with Hello me today, guys. reporter Merry Christmas. for Bay Focus and for CTN. I yes. see you on a lot of other things as well. And we're going to talk with her in just a moment. But I wanted to tell you to stay tuned because our special guest today is Jonathan Sawyer, an incredible vocalist, singer, worship leader from First Assembly of God, Fort Myers, worship pastor. But also he has a new CD out called Noel Christmas Classics on the Piano. And we are going to be hearing those today and you really want to stay tuned for this. Uh, but I want to talk to Brooke a little bit too. Um, before we talk to her about what, where she went this year too to share what's going on in Christmas, this has been, well, I guess what we would call in your life, an epic year. Yes. <laughs> and we want to share this yes. with our viewers because this is the first time we've shared this it with Bay Focus. Yeah. What has happened with I'm you? I'm engaged. Yes. <laughs> yes. She has the ring on to prove yes. it. Yes. Uh, uh, that's exciting. I know. It's been a few months months so it's still really fresh and we are extremely excited. Wedding planning is officially underway. Yeah, yeah. and it is a, a terrific love story. Yeah. Because you met on the job. <laughs> we did. Here at CTN. Yeah, we did. Uh, and uh, so we congratulate Matt as well. Thank and you. And this is a, um, that, that is a, you know, a huge event in your life. Um, and I, yeah. side note, I met my, for those of you that don't know, I met my husband as well here, here in the CTN. early years. So CTN, there's been a number right. of couples. That they say it's in the here. water. It was in the water. Yeah. I know it was in those early yeah. years. Yeah, I know it was. <laughs> but um, you have been to a lot of different places this year. Uh, you've been to National Day of Prayer. There's been mm -hmm. so uh, some of the different events, right. concerts, a um, lot of different things that we could right. name. But but this is a, a special time because this is one of your favorite yes. things to do. Where were Operation you? Operation Christmas Child. We were right out in Tampa, the Tampa Bay area, and um, they they're a um, Samaritan's Purse kind of section break off a, a ministry within, and they basically go throughout all the world, about a hundred different countries. They pack these shoe boxes with gifts and they yeah. give them to the children yeah. all over the world. And so it's a really great opportunity for families to get together. And you'll see that in this video. Yeah, that Samaritan's Purse is an yeah. awesome ministry. You know, Franklin Graham is behind that. So let's take a look where Brooke went with Operation Christmas Child. It's that time of year again and Operation Christmas Child is in full swing. Families all over the nation come together to pack one of the most important gifts of the season. Every Christmas, Samaritan's Purse, a Christian-based international relief organization, heads up Operation Christmas Child. Each year, thousands of churches, groups, and individual donors prepare and collect shoeboxes filled with toys, school supplies, and personal items for children in over 100 countries. The project was really birthed with families, you know, individuals packing shoeboxes for other individuals. The shoeboxes packed to share love, hope, and joy to these children that are receiving it all around the world that don't have a lot of joy in their life, that are in really difficult circumstances, um, either in war or poverty. And the whole message is to pack that shoebox gift so they get the gospel message of Jesus Christ. We went straight to the source, to one of their central drop-off locations at Bay Hope Church in Lutes, Florida. This location is what we call a central drop-off location. So not only are shoeboxes coming in from churches and individuals from the community, but the shoeboxes are also coming in from other drop-off locations around the Bay Area. So the shoeboxes are received individually, put into shipping cartons, and then loaded on semi-trailers here at the facility. Then the Tampa area boxes are sent to Atlanta, which is one of the eight processing centers in the United States. In Atlanta, the financial contributions are removed from the box, obviously, and the boxes are also inspected just to make sure there's no inappropriate items in there. And from there, they're put right back in the shipping cartons and the sea containers are actually loaded at the processing centers and they're shipped right out from ports nearby by boat, by plane, however, to get wherever in the world they're going. Each item in every shoebox is handpicked by individuals all over the United States, but one local girl has personally packed over 16 boxes to be sent overseas. Knowing that I'm helping somebody in need, and it just makes me feel good about life. <laughs> I have always loved helping people. We've been through some tough times, and I know everybody does. And over there, they could go through even tougher times. But the greatest gift of all is a small booklet inside the boxes with a very special message. They receive a booklet called The Greatest Gift of All, and it goes from Genesis to Revelation in a comic book kind of format and really introduces the gospel to them. That booklet's in over 100 languages, no matter where in the world they go, they're hearing the word of Jesus in their own language. 
But OCC is just one of the many projects Samaritan's Purse does. They are also a disaster relief organization. They have helped the Florida area a lot, especially down in Fort Myers, Naples, and in the Keys. And they're still there yet today, helping rehab homes. So their disaster relief program is amazing. And again, the whole time, they're doing what we're doing with the shoeboxes. They're giving people hope, encouragement, let them know they're loved, and God's never going to leave them. He's there. So it's just, it's really to encourage them and support them. For many, these boxes will be the only Christmas gift that children receive this Christmas season. And Operation Christmas Child through Samaritan's Purse is making this possible for children all over the world. Reporting in Tampa for Bay Focus, I'm Brooke Larson. Thank you, Brooke, so much for sharing that incredible ministry of Operation Christmas Child. They do a phenomenal work and so many different stories we've shown this year. It's so important that you keep us in the loop here for Bay Focus that we know we hear from you on some of the ministries happening here locally in the area. Well, for the remainder of the show, you are going to be enjoying the music of Jonathan Sawyer. And here he is to kick it off with I'll Be Home for Christmas. I'm dreaming tonight of a place I love even more than I usually do. And although I know it's a long road back, I promise
Well, I know that's one of your favorite songs, I'll Be Home for Christmas. I hope most of you get that opportunity. Well, I wanted to share with you a little bit of information here and get to have you meet our special guest for the show today, Jonathan Sawyer. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Being part of our, our, our CTN Bay Focus Christmas program all the way from the, the city of Fort Myers yes. that you're coming from. And before we talk about it, I want you to stay tuned because there's a lot of music coming for the remainder of this show. Uh, but Jonathan, I want our viewers to know a bit about you. And first of all, most of the music we're hearing today from, in fact, probably all of it, is from your new Christmas CD called Noel Christmas Classics on the piano, which you can get and you'll see on your screen on Jonathan Sawyer's website. Jonathan, this is exciting, and I'm, and this is a tremendous um, CD. I have to tell you, just the beautiful piano music, just gorgeous. Thank I you. want to compliment you on it. But before we talk about some of the songs, uh, I want our viewers to know, tell us a little bit about your background. You are the worship pastor at First Assembly Fort right. Myers, correct? Yes, we've been there for four years. We're uh, yes. both from, uh, my wife's from West Virginia. I'm from the Carolinas, and yeah. that's where we had uh, served in a church in South Carolina before mm -hmm. coming to Florida. But we've been there with Pastor Dan Betts yes. for the past uh, four years. And it's uh, we love Florida. We love living yeah. in Fort Myers. And Well, uh, well Dan Betts, of course, Pastor Dan Betts is well known to our CTN absolutely. viewers. Uh, and you help produce the TV program as well for First Assembly of God in, in Fort Myers. Uh, and I think a really cool thing that I want to share um, is that you were a member, you're a graduate of Lee University. I am. Who is, that uh, university is known for their music, but Voices of Lee, uh, you were a member of, which yes. is the a cappella group, which was seen on TV recently. Yes, they've, yeah. uh, they were on the show, The Sing Off, and then yeah. they just released a new video, What a Beautiful Name, and it's been viewed almost 40 it's million incredible. times on Facebook. It's I, I practically see it daily on my yes, Facebook feed. Yes. I mean, the voices of Lee are an incredible group, <laughs> and that you were part of that. But you have this this history and, the, and this um, background in music that you're sharing now with, with by the way, the First Assembly in Fort Myers is a large, large church, I believe around 6,000 members. So you get a lot of opportunities there and the, and the Lord is opening doors for you with your own music. This is your third CD project. Yes. Why did you choose to do Christmas? Why is Christmas important to you? Well, I had, I had done a piano CD, I had done a CD uh, singing uh, My Song Shall Rise to Thee was the second yeah. CD. And honestly, my wife, who has a lot of influence, yeah. said, you've got to do a Christmas oh, CD. Yes. So she's been after me. And two, in our, we do uh, five performances every year yeah. of the Christmas Keyboard Festival. And mm -hmm. last year, I sang Mary, Did You Know? Mm -hmm. And there was such a demand for that song to be recorded yeah. that I, I said, you know what? I'm going to do a Christmas piano CD, mm -hmm. but I'm going to put a bonus track on there with our yeah. choir and orchestra. And we recorded Mary, Did You Know? And yeah. I, I'm so excited that it's part of well, this project. Well, we're about to hear that song, too. Uh, Mary, Did You Know? But just before you do, uh, I want to say, too, that this is one of, the, one of the great CDs to just put on in the car. If you just want to de-stress in the oh, holidays, absolutely. you want to have a moment with the Lord and just enjoy some great Christmas music, th this, is, this is an awesome one. Okay, Jonathan, I'm going to release you to, to sing this song. That this is just a powerhouse song, and you have the incredible voice for it. Here's Jonathan Sawyer singing, Mary, Did You Know?
Mary, did you know that your baby boy would give sight to a blind man? Mary, did you know that your baby boy would calm a storm with his hand? Did you know that your baby boy has walked where angels trod? And when you kiss your little baby, you've kissed the face of God. Oh, Mary, did you know? Let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. You are the salt of the earth and the light of the world. God's word is a light for our path. Look to the light. Jesus is the light. Merry Christmas from the Christian Television Network. Being the light of Christ to a darkened world. Cry, re- 
rejoice in the Halloween manger ground. Emmanuel, Emmanuel, God incarnate here to dwell. Exalted now, the King of Kings, praise God for the Halloween manger ground. Emmanuel, Emmanuel, God incarnate, here to dwell. Oh, what a beautiful song, Emmanuel, hallowed manger ground. You know, I, I want to just talk about that. We're going to have one more song from Jonathan Sawyer. But before we do, I, I, that Emmanuel, that has been in my mind for weeks. And truthfully, when I saw Jonathan's song list that he was going to share in the show, I was just overjoyed to see the, the, the word Emmanuel, God with us. What does that mean to you, Emmanuel, God with us? You realize that means God is with us no matter what. I don't know what you've walked through this year. There's been some situations that I've known about it. I, I lost my sister-in-law this year. That was, that was really tough for our family. Uh, but she's with Jesus today. There have been some great victories. I know of healings. I know of financial breakthroughs. But what my point is, is that God is with us in all of it. He is with us no matter what you're walking through. And you look at the world today in all the situations, all the chaos, all the, all the institutions, the man-made institutions that people have put their hope in and their faith in that just are crumbling around us. Mass shootings every other day, uh, terror attacks, you name it. And wow, if we didn't have the Lord, how you would, how you would feel, the, the, the panic and the fear. But we have God with us if you know the Lord. If you don't know the Lord, I want to invite you to take Jesus as your personal Savior this Christmas season. That little baby that came into the manger, Emmanuel, God with us. He eventually died on a cross for our sins and he rose again. And, and he is waiting to bring us into his kingdom. He will come again. He will come in his second coming. But I want you to know him. Just accept him in your heart. Ask Jesus to forgive you of your sins. That's literally it. And say, Jesus, I want a relationship with you. That baby in a manger grew up to be your savior. What an awesome time of year to understand that Emmanuel, God with us. Well, the true peace on earth is what God can bring into our hearts. But let's pray for this world. And here's Jonathan Sawyer to close us out with this special Christmas prayer on the piano called Let There Be Peace on Earth. Merry Christmas. <laughs> 